the moment with deadlift training, I'm doing week on, week off with the suit. So this week I do deficit deadlifts. So I did 300 for three deficit deadlifts. And then I switched to 12 inch, which just says raised deadlifts using the primal strength stiff bar as well. So then I'm going to be doing some stone of steel, working on pickups with that. Just a little tip that I got from Shane that I'll talk about, which no one's ever said to me before, and I've never thought myself, so pretty good. We've got Brass Monkey up today as well, so we're doing some filming with them, so that's really nice. Yeah, I'm up to <coughs> 260 now, so hopefully this will feel nice, and then go up a little bit more. Got a top set of three reps to do today, so Again, not full maxing out on, on the, the three, but getting a little bit heavier, so maybe 320 or so, probably today. We'll see how that feels. We're at 300 now, so. 320 for three, that'll be fine today, I think. I hate this for Tommy pressing. I'll get on my tiptoes to eat that. So you got something short. Yeah, today I'm doing some press. So first exercise is strip press, two sets of three, and then push press. Then we have some close grip stuff, incline and all that kind of stuff. We'll, we'll talk to you. Oh, Come on, here you Use that fing hips. Come on, strong man. Oh, I feel like I was going to poo myself. Oh, jeez, I could feel uh, my bowels moving there. We're going to be doing two sets, three reps, one to, uh, 130 will be the working sets. One set done. Spicy. This is my second week back into a uh, strip press, you know, so oh, oh, my press is feeling good. I've kind of not done much stuff to help you get even better, so I've got to do a cold water thing, that too, so don't usually like to rush the gym. I've started like taking times and stuff between things, but I'll probably get all the bad exercises done and then we'll see what we got after that. But if we get this, this, incline, close grip, hoof. We're gonna be spicy, baby. We're gonna have steam coming up. Now we have to push for us. Wow. Steam keep busted. So now we're gonna do push press. Start at 100k. We got two twos, but 170, so let's do this. Push press for me. It is a very good exercise. The strip press stuff's good at first because it warms you up and it takes your shoulders a wee bit on your triceps, so going back down to 100k to try and get the, the legs a bit waking up and then we'll add way. Next up, guys, we are, or I'm going to be doing the stone of steel. So this comes in, I think it's 60 kilos empty, or 135 pounds. So I haven't really done much work on this before. But with this, when I was down, I was down to see Shane last week. No one else has ever said this to me, but I suppose especially in like natural stone pickups, I used to always keep my fingers closed, like tight. So I'd just come in and pick it up like that. What he's saying is, that makes perfect sense. So with natural stone, you want to spread your hands and spread your fingers so you've got more control. So say if that natural stone kind of rolls that way a little bit, you've got that finger to kind of um, counteract that. So that's what I'm going to try now. So truly, I've just ordered something up from the Gods of Grip just to work on like wrist flexion strength, that, that kind of position. So I really want everything to be solid. So I'm going to be doing a lot more work on that. So yeah, starting with this, go up to about 100 kilos, hopefully in the stone. So first set, nice and slow, just pause. Just a little pause behind, uh, below the knee, 
then lap it and drop it down again. And then the next set is just kind of no pauses, just getting into that, that movement. So this first set, I'll do six reps with this stone and then um, kind of gauge it from there and then just kind of get more confident as, uh, as the sets go. So just a bit of chalk and we'll see how it goes. Last warm up. One rep, 160. Let's do I'm on my fing set of this. Uh, Jesus. This is uh, 100 kilos in the stone of steel. So, doing six reps, we just look through the fing up, straight in, up into the arch. Nice and confident with this one. Confidently aggressive. Maybe put a little bit more on still. So that was nice. You'll notice when Tom does stones, he's so confident, he goes straight into it, pops it up, and it's game over. So that's what I'm working on. So we'll get there. Seventy two doubles. So see the second set. I did one rep and then filled the second rep. But I had recovered and then, yeah, did the second set with a fight. But hell, one seventy push press is a is a heavy press and uh, it's one of my least favorite presses. I've always I need to u utilize my legs a bit more. But then uh, it's a heavy weight. Just had the underbelt on these days. But because I only did one rep on the second set, I went and did. I, I was annoyed. I knew I didn't fail because I fatigued. It's just it was out of the line. So, face city five reps all together. Now we're going to do some quick uh, incline press, close grip bench press, and then chest press. Yeah, that was really good, actually. Felt really nice, so that's good. Just having that confidence to go in and just rip it off the ground. So obviously just doing that, that's just the first part of the, the stone lift. So the next exercise, sandbag Claiborne squats. So it's all to mimic those stone movements and see if that'll help, which I'm sure it will. So we are building, we are growing every day, which I'm buzzing about. So yeah, let's get on up. This is very good for transitioning into overhead and stuff as well. Builds really good strength, but um, about three sets of 12. So this will be my last warm up 100K. Then we'll fight between 120 and 130 for the three sets of 12. Yeah, let's get it on. Skinny. When's your last swing of that? 
Right in the 90s. <laughs> Still a bit too stone to go. First working set, 12 reps, 120. Cardio. Last one, at 120, this is gonna be hellish, so bring on the big brother. You might have to touch the last two or three, so let's see. But 12 is the goal. Oh, we should do 12, and if not, we'll die. Come on, come on, Harry, come on. I said failure. Jeez. <laughs> Pump up to one twenty for the last set. In my program, it says three sets of eight reps. Aiming to use 100, which is the first one, to 110, which was that one. And he says it'd be nice to sneak in a 120 for the last one. That'd be cool. I like it when, when I get things like that because it gives you a, a bit more of an incentive to, to push it, you know. So if your coach has given you something to hit, then he must think that it's possible. Or it's, it's, it's an easy weight or whatever for you. So, so yeah, it'll be an easy, easy lift. So yeah, quite happy with that. And then afterwards, I got some uh, bicep rehab. I mean, what's that? Yep. Incline done. Luke had to say me that was hellish. I'm pumped. Uh, last week I did heavier close grip. Um, I'm going to alternate each week because. Doing a close grip bench press every single week. Absolutely rams you, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I do alternative. This week's volume and 90 kilograms, still heavy enough. And I do no sleeves to really feel the contraction and get the, get the muscle, endu muscle endurance up for triceps. Then we alternate it like that so I don't exhaust them out because after this I've still got like another one or two tricep exercises we've already hit. Triceps with pressing as well. So this is just to Again, I'm getting back into this again. This is an exercise I wanted back in. It's a very good exercise to help with overhead pressing as well. So it's basically all triceps. So we're going to do three sets of 12, 90 kilograms. Watch me shake, watch me struggle. Uh, hopefully I get back out of this. I'll lucky looks in the gym. I'll be like, hey. Bye, guys. I lost count on that one, so Fett knows how many reps I've done, you'll soon find out in the video. I was uh, too busy minding my own business and fucking lost, and that's the cameraman didn't even help me, so. He says I've done eight, I've probably done out four, anyway. <laughs> Last set of this, and then we do finish off with push downs, and then I get food, because I feel very. Guys, another brutal session. Luke was doing deadlifts, I think, today, and I was doing pressing. <laughs> Lots of volume, so I feel decent, so that's the main thing. Food's improved, which has helped my energy, and uh, yeah, I feel good. Luke's looking good as well, coming back for his first competition after injury, so it's going to be good. Yeah, we're going to be doing a little review on the Vegas competition, the Deadlift World Championship. Super excited to be there. It's going to be an awesome competition. Can anyone break the Deadlift World Record? We will go over it in the next video. But yeah, feeling good, biceps feeling good. Did some stones here, really pumped up. And now, we get going swim in the cold water. Hey. Wow. Stay safe, smile and stay frosty. Uh, please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. We love you, we'll see you soon, bye bye.